Hey guys, it's Gmod10360 up here today with a brand freaking new series. Here is Call of Duty What's Next. So, today guys, I'm gonna I'm starting up this uh new series. Um as, as like I just said. Um and uh basically what I'm gonna do with this series is I'm going to just give you uh, guys brand new information about the next and upcoming Call of Duty title. Which obviously this year's title is going to be called Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, everybody has been talking about, oh, Modern Warfare 4. Please, God, don't call it that. Modern Warfare is done. Modern Warfare 3 was the end of that trilogy. Trilogy. <laughs> yes, trilogy, meaning three. Anyway, it is called Call of Duty Ghosts, and it has been confirmed, and obviously we've seen a trailer and quite a few images. Well, not quite a few, and just, just a few. Just basically the cover art and a logo and the trailer, that teaser trailer that's live action. Um... Um, although we have not seen any gameplay, and we won't see any gameplay until the 21st when the new Xbox comes out, well, not comes out, sorry, is revealed for the first time, which we'll also find out the new name of that as well, so we can stop calling it whatever the hell we usually call it, because there's several names I've heard. I'm not even going to discuss it, I'm just going to say the new Xbox. Okay, but we'll see it on that. And, uh, so, a few of the topics that I want to go over really quickly is, uh, obviously, the multiplayer. This is the first thing I want to go over with, because this is the hugest thing. It has been since Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the original Call of Duty 4, and it has, that was the game that revolutionized the way we play multiplayer online for Call of Duty that was like the forefront, the leader, the thing that made modern multiplayer the way it is. Um, so, Modern Warfare started this thing called Create a Class. In Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which was the recent title, we had a new version of Create a Class. It was called the Pick 10 System. Now, I understand not everybody likes the Pick 10 system, but on the other hand, I do. I just think it needs to be changed a little. It, well, a little bit more than a little, but I would prefer if it was like Pick 12 instead of Pick 10. Uh, 10 feels very small class, and it takes a lot of room, and there are some things, some issues that I really don't like. There was, when you pick uh, the wild card that is prim or primary gunfighter or secondary gunfighter, when you pick that wild card, it costs one. When you get that extra attachment, it costs one. I think that's a little ridiculous. I wish you could just put on the damn thing if you, if you want. Uh, although I really like the way they were doing the, the way how they had the wild cards and the perks. They need to fix those ups fix those fix those up sorry and change away the way the creative class system kind of works but keep it the same way that it has that it was with the pick 10 but i think it should be like pick 12 or pick 15 something like that crook because creative class the loadouts in that feel really small really bare and it doesn't feel like it's as fun as it could be now I don't know if they're going to even do this. I don't know if they're even going to have the Pick 10 system uh, that was brought in for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I think they're pro they might go back the way it was. I preferably don't exactly want that because it's going to feel so boring and so dull if they do. For me, I'm looking for something new in Call of Duty. Black Ops 2 gave me a lot more new things to do, and I think that's why that's been my favorite title so far. Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and 
the first Black Ops were so dry and so dull and they got so boring for me I just didn't want to play them the one thing that I have been playing just drastically throughout World at War Black Ops and Black Ops 2 is zombies obviously because that's what my channel was originally about and still is I still have that going um, the Black Ops 2 Season 2 Zombies should be up really soon. The first episode of that. Probably before this one. I'm not sure. Uh, if it is, that's the one that I'll have the apologies in. I'm not going to go over them again. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Call of Duty Zombies has kept this, this really freshness to it. It's constantly new. It's constantly different. There's constantly more... And I think that's why Call of Duty players, most of them now, who actually play Call of Duty year to year, really like the Black Ops games or the Treyarch games. It's because they have Call of Duty. They've been, there's a lot of Call of Duty players play Call of Duty Zombies. A lot of huge YouTubers that are Call of Duty guys, they love Zombies. They're huge on zombies. They, they play zombies all the time because it's fresh, it's new, and there's always something good to have and play with that. Now, on the other hand, multiplayer has gotten so dry and so dull that nobody wants to play it anymore. Although that's not exactly the case because everybody's still on. But, I mean, there's so many complaints from everybody that I know that Oh, fucking Call of Duty sucks ass. Oh, this game sucks. Oh, this is stupid. It's all because of the multiplayer. That's the only reason anybody says any of that. But yet, they still buy the game. That, that, that's, that's what I find funny. But, uh, <laughs> but it is true. We all know that. So, what I, what I specifically am looking for is a new, fresh multiplayer. So Call of Duty Ghosts, I really hope that it's going to have a new fresh multiplayer. I want to see more game modes. I want to see at least six brand new game modes that we've never seen before. I want the guns to have a wider variety of everything. And I want to see them more balanced because they're getting very unbalanced. Either they're, they suck ass or they're overpowered. And that's the way it's been with quite a few of the previous titles. The game with best guns would have been World at War and Modern Warfare. After that, they got just unbalanced, and it just made the game really bad. More variety, more balance, new good maps, fun maps, like Nuketown or like range I think firing range it was studio I think they brought it back as I want to see like really fun maps that everybody likes like those or I think there was like from Modern Warfare 2 you had rust and you know I don't even know what the biggest map on Modern Warfare 3 was because I really didn't play that game because it just felt the exact same thing I couldn't play it because I didn't want to play it. I was tired of it. It felt like Modern Warfare 2 to me all over again. And I didn't want to play it. The only thing I did play was the mo was the storyline. Because I really liked the storyline of Modern Warfare. But that's just me. I think they, they just need to bring in new, good, fun, addicting maps. new Lots of new game types. A variety of weapons. And make sure they're balanced. Fix up the creative class system. Keep it the keep the same pick ten system, but like change it a little and fix it up and make it really good. Bring a lot of personalization stuff into uh, the to your game, and I think Call of Duty could really turn itself around. I think Black Ops Two could be the turning point that makes it go go back to the drawing board and fix what's been getting duller and duller. Plus, they have a new engine, and obviously, they have to have a new engine, because we don't want to keep playing the same crap over and over. We want to get something new. Now, Call of Duty, the creators, I hate to say this, but they literally just make the game and put it out to get more money every year. 
Uh, I know they switch between two people, so it's technically like two years or whatever. But I it it's same thing over and over. And I want to see this new engine. I hope it looks really good. And uh, on the 21st of this month, we will see the the new Xbox, and we'll see Call of Duty Ghosts for the first time. Uh, I don't know how much of the gameplay I'll actually have in the second episode of this, but I will. So, um, one the, one other thing is, uh, I do like that they're doing a lot of promotion for Call of Duty Ghosts. This is it's still pretty early, but they are promoting Call of Duty Ghosts. They have um, the the uh, gun camo for pre-order, which is pretty cool. So you can go on Black Ops 2 and have the ghost ca gun camo. Um, other than that, I think Call of Duty Ghosts, it just needs to have a better multiplayer and if the and have a good, fun, story-driven campaign. And as long as you balance the two out and whatever new knockoff mode of zombies you guys are going to do, because I know you guys have been doing that with Survival and I think before that was Spec Ops. Or actually, sorry, there was spec ops, spec ops in both. But whatever, whatever knockoff. I really hope it's actually decent and fun to play. And just make this game better. Just somehow take the advice of the people and make this game better, because you're they're gonna start losing sales. I'm telling you that now. They're just gonna start losing sales because people are gonna stop buying it because people are gonna be finally to the point of boredom with Call of Duty. And uh, that's basically what I have to say for the for the first episode. Um, so yeah, the new title is Call of Duty Ghosts, and it will be coming out, I believe, eleven five thirteen, which is November fifth of. 2013, which is this year, obviously. Anyway, that's what I got for you guys. Thank you for watching the first episode of my brand new series, Call of Duty What's Next, and episode 2 should have some new info, and hopefully...